We have got plugs in 300. What are you doing? I'm making a grand plan for our trip. <laughs> it's not going to be run of the middle stuff. I'm sure really, it isn't. It's going to be really exclusive and exciting. We're here, darling. Oh my goodness, I'm not quite ready yet, Angelie. So just give me a minute. Oh my goodness, what are you planning? As long as we have lots of ice cream on the way, I'm fine. Ah, I haven't had ice cream in. You haven't scheduled ice cream? No. Oh my goodness. But I have scheduled brunch. No, no, no. Ice cream and brunch. It's okay. Prioritise, darling. Prioritise. Yeah, I think you should get a red suitcase. Okay. But I'd have to too, so we stay matching. Well, I'm, I'm good with that. Red suitcase tonight. We should get matching outfits. That's a step too far. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We're in Madrid. It's sunny. And we've decided to go to a lesser known museum. We like to go to places that are slightly off the beaten track. One of the most impressive collections of art, archaeology, weaponry. Weaponry? Ceramics, everything, you name it. Over 50,000 items are housed in this museum. But more interestingly for me is that it symbolizes the aristocratic life of somebody from Madrid in the 19th century. Sounds pretty cool to me. Oh, and it's got stunning interiors. Well, of course. Of course. <laughs> oh my word. Very nice, honey. Feel like a morning shower? Oh, I'd love to dive in. All around, I can see these amazing buildings. Mm. Look at this. This is a lovely area. Yeah. Come on, darling. <laughs> when we said it was off the beaten track and a little bit niche, Maybe we got that wrong. It would be a rather big queue. I think since then, many people have found out about it. Do you think they knew that we were here today, Ollie? We made it. This is really, really lucky because there were only a few minutes to spare. Mm -hmm. But we are here. I love the symmetry as you're walking through. Look at this. Look at that chandelier. Ready? And going jaw up. droppingly spectacular. The double staircase is so beautiful. <laughs> Gracias. And look at this behind you, this lamp. Oh, oh lovely. it's so beautiful. You know the outside lamp in the garden that I told you we should just throw away? Maybe we should remove the rust and have a go at painting it. Maybe. <laughs> See what happens. Should we go to the ticket office? Okay. Gosh, it's marble. I love it. First impressions, Ollie? It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> uh, even this room with this chandelier and this incredible colour. Let's um, go and look at the rest of the house. Okay. This one. Mm. Oh, look, the light with the dancing ladies. Look, <laughs> that's brilliant. It really is amazing. And over here, we've got this amazing clock. Oh, yeah. These two things with the splash of blue. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Stunning. Down here, not only have you got this exquisite wallpaper, but you've also got the lining at the bottom, which is oh, blue. Oh yeah, another beautiful border. Look at the glance here. Look at these exquisite wall sconces. Aren't they lovely? Mm. I've never seen a chandelier like this one. Crystals hanging down. 
The glass, the colour of the red glass as well. Very grand. It's lovely. So on vogue. We've got tassels in this room here too. Yes, tassel tastic. And I've found something I rather like over here. Whiz you round, look. Can you see what's underneath? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's cute. It's really inspiring because we have this sort of pink Americanos connection with our own home. Look, it's kind of beveled ceiling pattern. And then they've got different ways of tying into the pink. So floral pink chairs over here. And then a different kind of smaller, more delicate striped floral pattern on this bench seat over here with its own tassels. And of course, the chandelier. It's gorgeous. What I love is two things in this room. I love the ceiling rose, and as you pointed out, the fact they've got material on the ceiling in this kind of striper form is really unusual. And then look at the pelmets. It's so delicate and exquisite. Oh, yes. Edging. Again, it's all the detail, the thing we're being inspired by on this visit. Definitely. And then the sort of silky bit at the top. Mm. Did you say he collected 50,000 objects? And this is not just any old hat, this is seriously beautiful stuff. Look at this one. place thing about this place is the stairs though isn't it really? it really is so dramatic you've got mirrors up there you've got this incredible chandelier you've got all the columns and the pediments it's just high drama it's like a, it's like being in the theater it really is i'm so excited that we get to walk up this other flight of stairs and you've got this myriad it's like marble oh yes with this glazed effect i should walk very elegantly oh yeah no wardrobe now, Not for the moment. Oh my goodness, look at that for a view, Camilla. Yes, okay. The most amazing chandelier I've ever seen in my life, and I'm not joking. Okay, tell me more. Oh. <laughs> um, my. Have you ever seen anything like this? I am speechless. Slight issue over budget, but we'll we'll oh, we'll work no, through that. No, 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 this... no, even there is an angel holding the top of the chandelier. Oh wow! Yes, that's amazing. <laughs> Look at this mirror. Absolutely adore it. Do you know I love that? There's all the smallest things. So look, look at this. What could be a simple photo frame, but look at how exquisite it is. Details, and then there's one over here. It's just... Oh, this, I, I mean, I thought the pink room was my favourite, but this room is even more. Look at the crown on this one. We were looking for a card table. Beautiful red wood. This is a statement. It really is. I love the low hanging light with the lace around it. Just creating this lovely ambiance for your yes, dining yes, table. It's actually very delicate given how huge this is. We haven't talked about the art so much. 
This is from the Royal Exchange in London. Are you serious? Yeah. It's to work near that. Nothing. A few other things I've noticed. Like, right. incredibly bedroom style blanket up on this little bench here. I just have this vision here of our four cats sitting on uh, with a little sort of four in a row. Yeah. Oh, Ollie, even in this room, these curtains with the blue are so pretty. <laughs> okay, actually, maybe this one for the time. Oh I don't my... know, I'm confused. This room is so cool, isn't it? There's so many beautiful things in this house. I mean... I mean, it's literally mind-blowing. You have to come back many times. They only let 60 people in at a time, which hence the queue. So if you are coming to Madrid, my suggestion is get here early. I love this kind of pinky wall that you have in here too. Every room has been designed really well. Look at the painting of the lady, isn't she elegant? Mm. I love little arrangements where you can have tea over a little table. So he was an avid clock for that, so they're everywhere. Look at this one. Oh, yes. There's amazing writing that's underneath the clock. All the details, look at this. It's beautiful. Fontini light switches. You're leading the way. Okay, don't you? Look, it's even got flowers in it. Oh, look, there's a love heart. Let's give you more ideas. Ones that I think we definitely can't afford. <laughs> Out, isn't it? I don't even touch the banister. No, you won't because you'll get told off. <laughs> a lot of weaponry up here as well. Oh, yes, I told you there was weaponry here. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. I'm a little distracted by this chandelier here with grapes hanging down. Look at this bar. I'm sorry, I'm just having a quick look at this chandelier first. Oh, I have the colours, but then look. Oh, hug cushion, and look at that bath, Camilla. Look over there. <gasps> oh. I think it's we should. Dance chair. I think we should ditch the towel, Camilla. Yeah. This is our new transport. This is the Arab room, and sort of Orientalism was very much in trend from the middle of the 19th century, right up to the beginning of the 20th, and it's quite amazing. It really is. It's got a sort of Moroccan feel and yeah. calligraphy along the top of the walls. Oh, and look at the ceiling. This is the Empire City room. It gets better and better. Uh, yes, it really does, because now this is my favourite room. <laughs> I keep finding new favourites. It's the seats that do it for me. Can you see? Very special. They have lions guarding you with wings. Dining room is a knockout. <laughs> it's, I love the contrast between the light room and then the wood of this room. I thought that the room with the little lacy shade over the dining table was the dining room, but I'm wrong. This is the dining room. Oh my goody aunt, look at these walls and the ceiling.
don't think I've ever seen a place like this in my life. No. I was expecting it to have like a few little antiques in, but I'm, I'm mind blown. I don't know how he had the time to buy all of this stuff. <laughs> yet another amazing chandelier. The library. The gallery at the top. I love the gallery. Oh my goodness. Do you think there's going to be a little ladder that we can use in here? Because I'd really like a ladder. Oh, wow. I just... You're right about the clocks. There's yeah. even one here suspended in the archway. Oh, yeah. He has a collection of medals and coins. You could spend a whole afternoon just looking at one room, so many things. I would agree. You have to look at the parrots. The parrots? Oh, yes. It's oh, nice, oh, is it? And then you've got the oh my bird with the babies down there feeding them in the nest. Adorable. Look at this clock, isn't that elegant? These collection cases. I really mm -hmm. want to have a collection case. Bit of Wedgwood over here. I know someone who'd like that. And who's that? Stephanie. Stephanie Jarvis. Scenes. Oh, all, aren't they? Oh, yes. Wings blue lion. An ordinary edge of your seat. <laughs> Only does it have lions, but also has a duck face. Oh, my goodness, you're right. It's like the star in the glory of beauty. It is. And the marble here, Camilla, look. Got two different yes. types. Really nice. The bathroom. Exquisite item there. Another very unique chandelier. It's very unusual. Oh, look, there are ladies carrying chandeliers. What do you mean, ladies? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bit of both. Oh, this is insane. I can't get over this place. My word, the ballroom. Come There's there. a seat there in the middle in case you get tired on me. And there's an eagle on a coat of arms as you enter. And then the view through here, so the whole time you've got the light coming in. Oh, lovely. Time to go. Are you moving in, Camilla? I wouldn't say no. Are you offering? stand here amongst the statue and see if anyone notices. Mm, darling, I think it's really time. They're closing now. No, no, I'm just going to stay here. Okay. It'll be very Bye. still and they'll let me stay. What did you think? Well, I didn't see that coming. No, neither did I. It's just, it's mind-blowing. Honestly, mind-blowing. You think your mind's been blown and you go to another room and the same thing happens but even more. Madrid is just completely full of surprises. I had no idea how much I was going to love it here. Just so many beautiful places. So we have here and you're going to see Soroya as well. And we really hope you're enjoying this journey with us. There was a little art gallery we wanted to go to, which is 
I don't know, a few years ago I went to an exhibition in London by a painter called Joachim Soroya, who is famous for his depiction of light. I think he came from Valencia, so dappled light and so forth. And it really um, hit me at the time. And I didn't have any idea that we'd moved into Spain. And uh, so he has a bit of a point of affection for me and his painting is absolutely beautiful. And this is a little museum house for him with a lovely garden as well. And it's about to rain, so this is a good time to go in. It's very refreshing. It oh, it's really raining. Hang on. It is pouring. Look at this. Oh, wow. Just give us some ideas for a magical garden. Look down here. Mm, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the little cherubs under the fountain. Um, I think we need to go inside, darling. Yes, I think we do. Let, I think it's oh, going from this way. Oh, good. It's very refreshing, though. Isn't it? Very. Isn't that lovely? Oh, yeah. It's a courtyard. A bit an oasis. So this was his house. That's amazing. He had very high ceilings. Yeah. Perfect for painting. And the garden. Yeah. For someone who loves doing paintings of my children, this is lovely. This is his children. Look at the light. Isn't that exquisite? It's gorgeous. This is the siesta. Again, if you come a bit closer, brush strokes are really quite um, 3D here. And oh, yeah. The face, just, she, he's he'd done this expression of the face in just a few brush strokes. It's really clever. And the it's, blues in there and the reds. It's genius. Absolutely. Really is. This one's zonked out over here, just relaxing. This one's reading a book. It makes me want to have a lie down. Me too. I always admire painters who manage to express the human figure and so forth. Not in intricate detail, but just in a few brush strokes to give the expression of life. When you get it right, it really kind of bounces off the canvas. This picture is really cute. So you've got this little child giving a kiss to the statue. <laughs> then we've got the actual statue here. I love that. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really cool. <laughs> it's something I love over there, actually, which is the boy with the dog. And I think he's captured the dog incredibly well. And I love the interior in the background. Let's go and have a look. I go and zoom in on this dog, it's amazing. Oh my word, come in and look at this room. Look at those pictures at the back. Those are the ones we often think of when we hear Soroya. Oh, the life in that lady with that dress. Look at her magnificent hat. And these two, of course, this is a very, very famous painting. Mm. Only there's something else I'm noticing. So look at this room, it's absolutely vast. And what they've done is they've created a cocoon. Oh yes, in this look. Space so that when you're in your bed, you feel safe and protected. So tempted, but I'm really don't think that's allowed.
Isn't this lady beautiful? Oh, she really is. Wow, the expression on that face. Wistful. Yeah, wistful, I think that's the right word. There's a lot of pain in her face too. It takes real genius to be able to paint such expression into a face. It really does. The handbag she's carrying, look at the hands. I love his pictures of gardens. Look at that. The loose brushwork, it's amazing. What do you think, Danny? It's dreamlike. I love it. I love light in paintings. Another artist who is sort of like this, it uses light, but in a totally different way with Chagall. Um, it's dreamy, isn't it? Just look at this, like the detail of that, the sunlight hitting that dress there. It's quite incredible. It just feels like we're in the sun. These are Valencian fisherwomen. You can almost taste the salty sea air and yeah. feel the breeze as you look at it. Definitely. Look at this. You've even got walls are painted. It's lovely. Yes. All the way around the border. You know what, I think this is the perfect size art gallery because if you're coming to a city sometimes, unless you're coming to see the art, Sometimes the thought of going to an art gallery that's massive is a little bit overwhelming. Even though I love art, sometimes I feel that myself. Whereas this one is kind of just enough for, you know, an hour, it's absolutely beautiful. You come away feeling that you've seen it and enjoyed it without feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So I definitely perfect. agree. Perfect, absolutely recommend You can it. take it in because yeah. it's not too much. Yeah, really recommend it. This here with the head is actually all just built in. Mm. The table, the round table with that beautiful marble. Just so nice to have nice delicate tea parties. You know how much I love symmetry and here we have this so many details all in perfect symmetry. It's wonderful. And of course, a seat from which you can enjoy it. Really nice. It's very calming. Let's just sit down here, shall we? Mm. Relax. See that channel down the middle? Yeah. What if we were to make a human-sized channel and we could create a swimming lane that leads, and then this area here is actually the swimming pool, and this is just a two-scale model of what we're going to have in our garden, and then maybe we have a little bridge going over it. I like it. Yeah, I really like the idea of having a swimming pool in our house. It isn't the kind of typical blue one. I think it needs to feel more like an ornamental pool that is also a swimming pool. Yeah, decorative. I really like this dark green um, it feels like a luxurious, cool pool, doesn't it? You're not so keen on the dark green, are you? Um, okay, well, okay. Would you like to know what I think? Yeah. I think that we should take from Soroya and think about how you capture light. So I like the idea of herringbone position tiles of two colours, and then you can have the light travelling over them and creating different shades within the pool. Lovely. I like it, darling. Practically poetry. <laughs> I'm seeing this as a kind of toy model of the swimming pool that I would like us to have. Do you want to give it a go? What, a swim? A I think the step. swim might be a step too far, Ollie. It's so hot. It makes me very relaxed. You're like... <laughs>